Here's our complete Gling AI video editor tutorial. I'm gonna be walking you through the mind blowing features of how to majorly speed up your video content creation to get through your creative process and how to make YouTube videos even faster and easier. Gling AI is an amazing content creation tool with YouTubers in mind specifically so you can take your raw footage and transition that into a video that's ready to export and hit publish, or you can transition this into your video editing software program of choice, and then start adding in all of your secret sauce and your brand elements to it. Now on the screen, we will see a couple different options and there is a demo file if you want to go through and use that as the example, but I highly recommend having your own video file available, then go ahead and drag and drop that into the selected area. The next option that you will see is this pop-up box that will let you name your project, add additional files if you have. So we don't have a bunch of untitled projects. I'm gonna go ahead and name this. It's based on my podcast, so Video Simplified Podcast, episode 138. Over here, you do wanna select the language that you're going to use. Lastly, we can add in a script. So if you have notes or if you use a teleprompter for whatever kind of work that you're doing, it does help even to have a loose script to add in here. So if you're doing this in a digital notepad, you can copy paste and be off to the races. But if you don't, that's fine. It'll just make it easier to know what parts to cut, especially when you have multiple parts to a video versus those to keep. So let's go ahead and click on continue. So we have a couple options here where we can enhance the video with cutting out any silences, bad takes. So any of my ums, ahs, or if I'm stating things multiple times, it'll know which option to get rid of. And I'll show you that in just a second. And then you also can add in jump cuts. And this is going from maybe a wide shot to a closer shot or slightly zooming in and removing some of the audio noise. I don't need to remove any noise. I don't want to do any jump cuts just yet. I want to see the file first, but definitely get rid of any silences and whatnot. And you can select or deselect just by clicking on the plus icon, but we'll click on enhance and edit. And with the magic of editing, our file is done in literally a second. It may take a little bit longer, but this is like a 40 minute file and it only took maybe like two or three minutes or so, which is not bad. So it actually is pretty fast. Now, if we take a look around the software, once you have a video loaded, here is what you can expect. Over here, we'll see our file section that we just saw a second ago. And so if you did forget something or if you need to take something out, you can come over here and make adjustments over there. Now the script, if you need to go through your video as a document, this is where you would do that. Now we'll see Enhance and the AI Assistant slightly different, but that's where you're gonna see a lot of the magic. We'll come back to that in just a second. Over here, as we're going through the playback for the video, sometimes I like to do like a 1.5 times X just to speed things up. Then to show the cuts is just a grayed out portion. You can select or deselect that. For now, we're going to leave everything as they had it with show me the cuts or the additions or the removals that you did automatically. We have the skip cuts feature, which we'll talk about in just a second. And then we have where we can split our video files if we need to make adjustments or enhancements to it. And then we have the pacing where if we click on this, we can decide like, is it feeling too jump cutty where it just is no breaths in the video. It doesn't sound like you and it doesn't have your vibe. And so you can adjust the slider to just say, mm, like add a little bit of a buffer here or there just so the pacing is good. And then lastly, in the main document, we can see where certain words are already grayed out. If we double click on those, those are words that are cut. And those are all those gray boxes that are canceled out and won't play as we're playing back. It will skip all of those bits. But if we needed to put a word back, if it messed something up, we can just double click on it with our mouse and we'll have the option to either correct it if we wanted to correct the transcript or the wording, add certain bits on there if it didn't understand what we said. Maybe our dialect is a little bit stronger in certain words or certain ways that we're saying something, stuff happens. So you can just click the uncut and it will highlight and then it will be visible and you'll see what part was adjusted in the video down below. Otherwise you can double click and hit that cut button. So let me give you one of the fastest ways that you can start to get through your edit. You know exactly where you started. So in the beginning of my video, I have some video notes to my video editor. Well, I know when I'm actually starting the recording. So file, I'm gonna use this wonderful search feature where I can say, 
video simplified podcast I just as I'm typing it out it's automatically going to jump down to where am I saying that so it's like hey what's up entrepreneurs welcome to the video simplified podcast how I start all of my intros so I know anything before this part I don't actually need to keep so now once I hit that X button I can get rid of that now there is an option where if something needs to be reworded you can click these dots and start to reorder it but I don't need to do any of that what I want to select though, is I want to highlight with my mouse and just hold it down, scroll up through all of this stuff and then hit the cut button, or you can hit the backspace or delete button on your keyboard. And it will get rid of all of this mess that I do not need. And I cut off a couple words here, but instead of me having to highlight all of that, we can just come over here to that entire sentence and hit the scissors button. So it gets rid of all of that. Deselect it. You just do the opposite of that by clicking on it, but we're going to get rid of all of that. Now let's come to a section of the video where it is needing to actually have a correction done. So here I'm saying it gets better and better and better. It's thinking because I'm saying the same word over and over that I'm making a mistake, which is not the case. So what I can do instead is just just click on the X, double click here, and I'm good to go. Now, if I made a mistake and I actually do agree with it, I can just hit the undo button instead of going back and double clicking. And it saves me just a little bit of time, but I want to listen through just to see which version may sound better content. And it only gets better and better and better. But as you can notice what just happened there, it didn't skip over the grayed out part. Now you would do that by clicking on skip cuts and the skipping cuts does what it says. So let's play that back again. And it only gets better and better. But so if I listen back to the file, it sounds good either way, but I want to keep it sounding like me. So what I'm going to do is just highlight this section and I want it to bring back all of that, but it sounds good either way. So those are one of those bits where it's like, it got the pacing perfect. So even if it took it out, the main core point of what I wanted communicated was communicated, even though it took a section of it out. Now let's say I want to start using some of these enhanced features. I want to click a section of the video. And when I click on enhance, some of those options we saw before, like doing the jump cut zoom or removing noise is available to us, but you also see now where smart captions is available. But let's say I want to do a jump cut zoom. What it's going to do is for all of the active video files, it will start to generate a section that could be cut in for. It may take a few minutes to do this. So we'll give it a couple seconds and then we'll see what it does. So magic of editing, here we are. And we can see a couple options here. Now, when you zoom in and out, sometimes you may be moving or whatever the case is. I love this feature here where it says center to face because what it's doing is actually looking for my face, making sure that even if I'm over here in one part and then I'm in the center, when it cuts in, the person that is watching their eyes don't have to go from you were up here and now you're down here and it's all over the place. It doesn't work like that. It just zooms in and keeps you center. But if you don't want that, you can deselect it. And if you wanna pull it back out, if you felt like it punched in just a bit too much, depending on the framing, you could zoom it out some more. But when we come down here to the options for the video to enable this for this section, we're going to click on this little magic pencil tool and then enable the jump cut zoom feature on this clip. And so now we can zoom this out a bit more and say, yeah, that framing looks good. So I know 1.19 times is about what I want. So if we go from one section of the video, you can see way more of my office. And then if we come over here, it cuts in naturally. So let's give this a play and see how she goes. AI and using it in your video content more than that though. So you notice how it wasn't really seamless. Like it was a good jump cut, but the audio is off. So down here, what I can do is right click and just click on uncut. And that's a great feature that you can do just right seamlessly as you're going through. So it does help to go through the one times cut because little stuff like that, you won't initially catch. AI and using it in your video content M more than that though, I'm sure you've probably already been using AI in and that's so amazing that it just does all that little stuff that sometimes you got to work with keyframes, other times you're looking for buttons. And if you're unfamiliar with the video editing software program that maybe you just got started using, having little stuff like this that actually makes a big deal in the program is just a chef's kiss. So let's take a look at another one of my favorite features. A lot of times in videos, 
Uh, you'll see caption as well. The amazing thing with Glean is you can do this here. So we can click on smart captions, enable this feature. Again, it may take it a couple minutes depending on how long or how big your video file is, but this is a 4K video file. It's like 40 something minutes for the raw file. And it still only takes like two or three minutes. Matter of fact, it's already done. So now that I have smart captions enabled, then I can choose if I want just the highlights or if I want to do all, I'll show you both in just a second. But let's say I just want to highlight this sentence. What I can do is just right click, hold it down, select it, and then hit add. And then I can do captions. And so now over these sections, and I'll go ahead and uncut this bit here so that that plays. What I can do now is if I double click or even just click on the selection, I have different options to go through and customize my captions for me. So let's say I just wanna go with this one and we'll go through, hit playback on this. So you are educating AI on. Now, did you notice that it didn't do it for both options? Well, if I come over here, then I can select that one that I want to uh, as well, or I can select apply to all. So once you have multiple captions, you don't have to go through and individually select unless you just want to, or you're switching it up, depending on what your goal is, but you can just hit apply to all and it selects it for all of those variations. Plus you got the pencil tool up here. If you want to select like your brand font, depending on what you use, the specific color for the brand that you want to use, all of those options are available. So let's say I want to do a nice blue. I want to, we'll just go with Arial black. And then we want to bring that outline down. We can get rid of the We'll keep the box, get rid of the background and let's make a couple other adjustments here. And so now we have a difference between the two. It looks very ugly to me right now, but just to do this quick addition and see how this plays. AI on who you are. And so now at least they match, but you can go through and adjust how you want this to look, save this as an option for your own brand aesthetic so that you have something that is a, basically your style and your brand. You just need to do a little bit more work with it so that it looks great and not grungy. And then if you want to get rid of those captions you can just right click on that and delete. Now let's say you want to start getting closer towards the end of your video, You're getting ready close to publish. You've gone through and made all of the changes that you want. If you click on the AI assistant, you'll see where you can start generating title ideas in addition to chapters based on the actual video. And this will save you so much time. Even if you are making some content, you're not sure what to call it yet, or it may be, but you know that it's good stuff. You can use this to kind of give you an idea or at least see what it pulls out of thin air. So with title generators, you get a little bit of that chat GPT ish style language of unleash unlock type things. But if you don't like it, you can regenerate it to decide what it is. However, the new in addition that they've had here is to adjust the tone of the title to make it more informative, authentic, honest. How should it sound? So let's go with eye catching. It'll automatically regenerate and we can get some better options. Something that at least may be more closer to your brand aesthetic or what you would like. So let's say I'm going to call this enhance your video marketing with AI, improve your content strategy, or you can get a slightly different variation of it or whatever the case is. And we can use that as the project name instead. And it already updated it for us. Now, when you get ready to export, what you can do is export that final video if it is completely done in Gling, and you may not need to use an actual video editing software. To do that, just go ahead and select video. But if you're ready to bring this into your video editing software, if that was just the rough cut, then you can now go ahead and export this into Final Cut. Adobe Premiere or whatever tool that you're using. So I'm going to select Final Cut Pro because that's what I'm using. You have the multicam if you have like angle one or angle two, but that's getting a bit more uh, in depth with it, but we're going to keep it simple and just select the Final Cut base. The next thing you'll see is an option to save this. So I'm just going to create a folder onto my hard drive and just call it Gling AI. And this is where that file will save. And now you're able to open this in your editing program of choice. And when you go to where your video file is saved or this project, if you double click on it, we will see that we have this file already set up. It is named exactly what the video is called. And you can see all of the individual cuts right here in the video editing software. It is incredible. Now, if I zoom in a bit more here, what you will notice is that it is 
not destructive, meaning that the cuts that we made over in Gling aren't impossible to correct, or it's not like an edited video and that's what you're getting. You're still getting that raw file. So I can come into Final Cut Pro and I can still make adjustments with ever I need to do on here, it's available to me. So I love this bit here. It works amazing to just make that process that much more seamless to go from Gling to whatever video editing tool that you prefer to use. So you may be saying to yourself, that's great, Diana, but how much is this going to cost? That's a great tool, but can I afford it? It's extremely affordable. And starting at the free option, this is something that I would highly encourage that you find a way to embed this into your process. What comes in that free package is one hour of media produced monthly. So if you're not producing a ton of content um, or if you're only uploading smaller videos, that's plenty of time for you to work with for your files. And they give you one free video export per month as well. The next step up, if you're paying annually, would be $10 a month for the plus plan. But if you're looking at that on a monthly basis, then you're looking at $15 per month. That's gonna give you unlimited access to the AI features. You now get 10 hours of media per month and you get unlimited video export. So there's no holds bar on this. If you're producing a ton of content and you're looking at the pro plan sticking with that monthly option then you're going to be looking at $30 per month and that package is going to include unlimited access to all the AI features everything in the free and the plus but you're now getting up to 30 hours of media that can be processed per month unlimited video export and then you also get access to their unlimited premium support. And if you want to pay for the pro plan annually, then you're looking at $20 per month, but there is an even amazing option that is available to content creators. You can do this on a video by video basis. So instead of being stuck um, to just like the one hour per month, because podcasts can be that one hour and then all that time is gone. If you sign up for the creator program, you'll still be on a free option, but all you would need to do is add in their blurb into the description of your video. And then that next video that you produce will be free. And so it's like a currency exchange. Every produced video gives you access to one additional free video inside of Gling. And it needs to be a one for one exchange. You can't just attach it to your last 30 videos and then have 30 videos. It just doesn't work like that. So if you're publishing at least one video per week, this is a fantastic option for you to give you access to more of those pro creator level features without having to pay anything and staying on that free plan. But it's a little bit better because it's the creator plan. So this has been that complete guide of Gling. I hope that you got immense value out of it. But what if you're looking and trying to consider some of the other AI video editing options? Well, there is a video coming up on the screen that you should definitely check out. In addition to access to my YouTube channel where I help you simplify the video creation process. That's where I'm gonna leave it for this one. And with that guys, with passion, I'll see you on the next video here on the channel.